good morning, good evening, or good afternoon folks and thanks for joining me. Where am I? Redditch, uh, my boy Redditch train station. Um, so for saying more, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going up to Birmingham, uh, hopefully the plan is to have a walk around the German market. It's, uh, see the date today, hold on a sec folks, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the wobble there. It's the 22nd of November, uh, 2022, as I speak. It's a bit fresh, but uh, yeah, so I caught the 57 bus down here from where I live in Matchborough West. See, the service seems to have got a bit better. Well, there was two buses going along at the same time, but perhaps I was expecting a crowd, but uh, that's another story. Yeah, come along and join me. I was going to say a couple of things. Um, on Saturday, I had to take my daughter uh, to school because they were doing a Saturday school to so catch up on their work. But strange thing is, that I got an email from the school yesterday that the, the old school were allowed to watch the England match. I mean, I'm not into football. And if you was to, you know, people have the day off school to stay at home to watch the football they get into trouble you take your kids on holiday or something but i think it's a bit stupid the school uh you know giving them the afternoon to stay at school to watch the football uh, especially when i had to go away saturday take my daughter to school pick her back up it just seemed daft that's my opinion the other thing while i'm on a bit of a rant i don't watch the celebrity jungle i used to watch it but with uh that Matt Hancock in there yeah, it put me off watching it, but the headlines on Saturday were Boy George quits, you know, on the front of the papers. Uh, I'm not really interested about Boy George quitting the celebrity jungle. Um, there's more important news that they could tell people about. Not that I watch much news, but so I don't know, you know, it used to be Boris Johnson, this and that. Now, unfortunately, it's about the celebrity jungle, which I don't watch. I know my sister watches it. She said half of the population in England watch it, but on the other half that don't. But anyway, so that's another story. So join me as I get the train up to uh, New Street, and then we'll have a little wander in Brum or Birmingham or Brummagem, whatever you want to call it, and uh, have a little nose around the market etc. I haven't brought my gadget with me, I was going to, but it does give a bit of attention and uh, I thought I'd be a bit stealth today around Birmingham so uh, anyway I'm just going to show you around the station bit here quickly and then we'll be on our way when the train arrives. See you in a bit folks. Yeah so if you do bring your bike here there is a uh, cycle parking. I'm just outside the station. That's the line there. I'm just going to do a little swing round because this used to be the train used to carry on to Studley from here. There's some nice uh, artwork on the wall. I have videoed these before. They do look nice uh, and uh, a bit of information up there. And again coming back round. Well done whoever done these. I do look nice. So I'm going to go and get me ticket and we'll uh, I could go on a scooter I suppose but that's uh, the bus stations up there so uh, anyway see you in a minute folks. Yeah greetings folks I've got a few minutes to spare so just a little shot round here at Reddit so doing a lot of work over there, that's Edward Street over there. Uh, just do a little pan round here. Uh, coming up to uh, that used to be what well, it is the Golden Cross, but it's been closed for a long time. Yeah, again, while well, I'm waiting for the train, this is just a little shot of Unicorn Hill here at Redditch, and uh, this is Hill Road. Here, how do I know? Says it on the tin. Just do a little shot all the way around. This is the pub here 
the Golden Cross. This is the bit, I always like the shape of that building there, but uh, apparently they're going to proposing to knock that down and build a new uh, train station there. That's the Redditch uh, exciting bus station there. Well, it does its job, I suppose, but there's not much, when you get there, there's not much way of information uh, where you want to go, I find. Most of the time there's a little board or electronic that don't seem to work, but uh, anyway, uh, might be a bit noisy on the bike because I haven't got uh, external bike plugged in. So I'm just killing a little bit of time here while I'm waiting for the uh, 11.05 train. Yeah, hi folks. I'm just outside the uh, Golden Cross pub. Uh, many years ago, I went for a drink. This is a story I ended up on the floor in the bar. Well, behind the bar, uh, I, I ordered, I think I, I used to drink then, but not a big drink. I think I had half a lager and I was leaning on the bar and I don't know why, whoever worked behind the bar decided to undo the little latch, you know, that <laughs> there's like a little door and I was leaning on that. All of a sudden mm. I went backwards. Uh, I don't think I got my drink in my hand, I may have done, but I ended up on the floor. But uh, anyway, that's another story. As for the dating site, don't ask about that. Any anyone interested, comment below. And anyway, the train's just arrived. I'll just spin you around. So uh, if you can see it over there, so then nip over now and get that. So see you in a minute, folks. Yeah, so here's the train, folks. So uh, I'm going to get on that now. So we'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, thanks for joining me, folks. Uh, let's just pop on the train now. Yeah, hi, folks. Well, I might do one or two shots on the way. But there is some other uh, videos of me traveling to Birmingham before so you can always check the channel out. See you in a bit. Yeah greetings folks welcome to New Street Station. I've just got off the train and I'm just having a little nose along here. There is a sign here. Uh, I'm just going to spin you around to that. Uh, welcome to New Street Station. So yeah, it was a nice little journey. It does look an odd building up there. It's the ball ring, I think. It's all Grand Central. Looks like it's made out of tin foil. I might do a little Sony shot while I'm here. Uh, yeah, a nice little uh, journey. Got a train coming in, so we'll get a shot of that. Uh, again, thanks for joining us, folks. Is it coming this way or not? Don't look like it. No. Oh, it is. There it is. I was saying porkies for a minute. So, uh, yeah, it's going to do a little Sony shot now, so we'll catch you in a bit. And thanks for joining me, folks, on this little trip out today. Need to come here on my own. Uh, so, yeah, it's the building up there. Just say Grand Central on it over there. So, uh, we'll all see. I'm not sure what that's all about, but someone might know. Yeah, so that's it. So, going to carry on now and uh, make my way at the station. So we'll see you in a bit, folks. There she goes.
catch you in a bit folks going up going up folks Yeah, hi folks, just a little shot here of the, uh, trying to give it up a bit, the Grand Central here. It's a lovely building, just going to give you a little bit of a spin round here, about down. Yeah, lovely building. Looks like they've got the Christmas lights up on the escalators there. Catch you in a bit, folks. Yeah, just a quick shot from up here at the Grand Central, folks. Does look nice, busy. I say, not my cup of tea, but I'd rather be on a walk, but still nice to come and have a nose. So, yeah. Bit of pan all the way round. Catch you in a bit, folks. All right, folks, I'm on my way out the uh, station now. So uh, I'm not sure which way I'm going yet, but I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, hold on, change the uh, settings a minute here. Yeah, so big sign up there saying the bull ring. So uh, it's a little nice reflection on that building there let's go all the way round right have a uh, right. oh it's wonderful yeah. your video John and Michael here from Coventry oh, that's amazing to see yeah, very you. enjoyable yeah brilliant great to meet you yeah hi folks that was nice <laughs> amazing just walking along and two folks uh, they're from Coventry they watch the videos I said I made their day. Well, it's made mine as well. That was great to see you both there. Uh, yeah, a pair of YouTube. So, uh, yeah, this is lovely. It's a lovely sunny day. So let me give you a quick swing round. Hang on. If it's the right button here. So, uh, yeah, so certainly different from Redditch. Let's gonna have a nose folks, see you in a minute. Right folks, so I've come out uh, just outside the ball ring centre now. Uh, so I'm just gonna have a wander up here, so join me a bit further along. Yeah. Uh, just gonna straighten the game up a bit here. We've got bully the bull here always get uh, folks uh, taking pictures so try and get a better shot in a sec yeah so there's a shot of the bull there just gonna do a little little pan round while I'm here so uh, yeah quite busy uh, here's the ball. Yeah, greetings folks from the ball ring with me Sony. Just going to do a little pan round. Now, certainly, uh, certainly busy. Here. So, uh, just going to have a wander round now. Yeah. My turn now. It's always a crowd around here. I've got a shot there. Just do another little, little pan round. Right, follow me, folks. Follow me. Right, so this is the start of the German market, folks. So, gonna have a have a wander around now. It's 
big old dog there. Snap. Food looks good here. Sausage is over there. Right, we've got a bar there, that's no good to me because I don't drink. So we're going to have a little wander around, folks, uh, here. I might just do a little Sony shot, actually, down there. So, catch you in a sec. Right, back to it, folks, now with a pocket. Uh, not much on the menu there. So we'll... Uh, just going to uh, tilt up a sec. Birmingham Frankfurt Market. Right, so now we'll uh, seems to be the uh, hot dogs seems to be on the uh, menu, uh, but uh, I'm not really the only hot dog sausages I like are the ones I cook myself really but let's have a little nose here folks see what's on the menu yeah, certainly quite busy here and, uh, the Sony shop here carry on in the wall ground right carry on down, certainly a lot of folks here, uh, got a bit of music on as well, I think it's on till the 23rd of December if you fancy coming up, uh, it's probably better at night the atmosphere but uh, I just didn't really fancy coming up at night, so uh, anyway let's carry on and have a wander around. A quick uh, shot round here. That's the first McDonald's I ever went to over there. That's a bit of information, folks. Uh, so just a little pan round. Let's go all the way round and we'll carry on now. Yeah, so another bar there, which is no good to me. Uh, must be a long day for the staff. Now, you can go either way here, so I'll walk down this way and walk back the other. So, uh, oh, let's have a quick look here, this looks nice. This is the Burlington Hotel. That looks nice. I did do a photography job there once. It was a nightmare trying to park here, but uh, it's a lovely hotel. Yeah, so uh, again, thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, thermal long johns, yeah, yeah, they've got some thermal long johns there for a tenner, and only two pounds at Walesbourne Market. So, if you're that way. Those look nice there. Well, we'll uh, carry on along a bit now, folks. That looks nice there. Down there, all the lights. Just a quick shot. And we're going to carry on this way. Yeah, so it's not my... I'd rather be on a public footpath walk. I'm not too keen on... Uh, crowds but you know I don't mind now and again I mean this will be packed tonight um, but uh, I thought I'd come up in the in the daytime so join me a bit further along folks yeah uh, not sure what's on for sale there burgers Frankfurt, as I think. Uh, those look nice there. And uh, 
These are nice. Six pounds for the cooks or twelve pounds for them, not bad. You can't take it with you. Pick and mix here. Yeah. No. Nice sweets there. Get your toffee apples over there, only £3.50. These look nice as well, freshly made. There. Those look nice. There. We'll carry on round. Uh, there's a bit of a price list there for you. Uh, smells nice there, uh, I must admit. Uh, carry on round, folks. Yeah, greetings folks and thanks for joining me uh, round here. I'm doing a voiceover because I had some music on and although I don't have any real problems with YouTube, if you've got any background music, they tend to tell it's a copyright but uh, they don't give you a strike but I don't know how often you can get away with it. It's a lovely Christmas tree there. I have said before somewhere on the video it's better in some ways to go at night for the atmosphere but it's not my scene really to be out there at night. I don't drink. I'm going up on my own, you know, it's uh, you've got to be a bit careful around Birmingham, all any areas really. So that's why I had a ride up uh, today. Really enjoyed it. So uh, it was a good time. So yeah, I had a great morning in Birmingham, so we'll catch you in a bit, folks. Yeah, certainly busy, folks. But say tonight, on the evening, it'll get jam-packed, but... Uh, it goes on. Yeah, hi folks, that's nice there. Just gonna do a little pan round. I think it does go further on the market, but I'm not gonna do much more. Yeah, that's a map there. Give you an idea what's what. So I'm gonna start walking back round now and uh, walk the other side. So catch you in a minute. Yeah, hi folks, yeah, here's a bit more music here. And say so on the night time, this gets absolutely uh, packed out. I mean, I'm not sure if I went round the whole market because there's usually another area going towards the library, but I didn't want to make the video any longer than what it was. I, they did have an ice rink and big wheel round the other side previous year, so there may be more, but uh, this video is just to give you an idea bit about Birmingham and uh, what you can expect if you go up. So we'll catch you in a bit, folks. Thanks for joining us again. Yeah, greetings, folks. Hope you're enjoying the walk round. Uh, there will be some of a voiceover because I've got uh, music in the background. But uh, it's nice to have a walk round. It's not really my cup of tea. But I forgot to mention earlier, yesterday I I do it every year, I do a school, special needs kids and uh, I go on two Mondays to do two different schools and yesterday I was at a school and uh, I pretty well took a photo of every kid at the school and then uh, afterwards printed them out on the day. So it was a long day yesterday but very rewarding, love to see all the kids, uh, they were all well behaved and uh, it was a no, fantastic day. I, I love I say, my photography, that sort of job is very rewarding. Something I can't share and show you, but uh, the school appreciate me going because I don't charge much compared to the normal school uh, photographers and they get them on the day. So 
Anyway, it's enough of me rattling on. We're going to carry on walking round now, folks. See you in a minute. Right, back to it, folks. I was just talking to a chap and uh, he's got his big tripod out. He's doing a, a video, well, filming for the German TV. So, join me a bit further along anyway. Well, the old saying, folks, sizes and everything. Uh, uh, is it fun to work at the German Christmas market? Is it fun for you? Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> a little bit weird, isn't it? They have a German Christmas market in England. Yeah, like it. Thank you so much. Yeah, so these are film. These are German. They're filming uh, the German market. So I follow them, folks. So uh, yeah, it's quite busy. Yeah, so it's worth a visit. So, all right, I'm going to interview you. You've been to a German market before? Yes, I'm German. Oh yeah, you like it? It's it's very authentic, to be honest. Is so I'm, I'm I'm from near Frankfurt, so oh, I. Yeah. What about the, the prices? Is they all right? Pardon? The price of the stuff is it okay? Yeah, it's the stuff you get on a Christmas market. Okay. Right? Right. Do you really need it? Well, yeah. but it's, anyway, it's authentic. No, it's, good, it's good stuff. You'll be on my YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm a YouTuber. That's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. good. All right. Yeah. Have a Love. good day. And you. Love it. Yeah. See Have ya. Yeah, they're just filming the folks here, but uh, not much people, not many people spending, I don't think. We're all a bit tight, but that's another story. So we're going to carry on down. Uh, I'm just going to say sorry to me daughter Olivia because she'll be saying oh, I should have come with your dad but she's at school so uh, yeah I'll carry on down here now there's Santa up there spinning round so the bar it's quiet at the bar It's a priority post box, folks, and that's a nice one there next to it. I like the colours on that. So, catch you in a bit, folks. Right, uh, just gonna have a wander down here. I'm gonna find somewhere to have a bit of a lunch now. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go yet, but uh, actually, I might go to Tesco Express, get a meal deal. So, we'll See you in a bit, folks. Yeah, hi, folks. Just waiting for the train now. Just a little shot here at the uh, station, platform 12. Hi to my brother Brian, because we've often been here together when he's over from the USA. Thinks is their wheels, folks. And, uh, again, thanks for joining me on the trip to uh, here she comes. Ready, just what it says on the tin, folks. Catch you in a bit. Yeah, greetings folks, uh, I'm going to end the video now, so uh, thanks for joining me around the German market, nice to see the couple of viewers from Coventry as well, a big eye to everybody, I appreciate you watching, if you haven't subscribed, press that button, uh, appreciate that, uh, stay safe and well wherever you are, we'll see you on the next video folks. Uh, I so hope there's peace in Ukraine and all around the world. There needs a bit of peace in Birmingham. I'm just see them carting someone off. So we'll see you on the next video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. Bye, folks. <laughs>